All new tonight, a cold case cracked a rape suspect behind bars and authorities say genetic genealogy testing helped them track that suspect down. Daryl Bowden under arrest accused of six cold case rapes from March of 2006 to January of 2008 in Fayetteville. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton joining us with the story tonight and Xavier, some people not happy with this genealogy testing. That's right, Brooke, and more police departments across the country are starting to use this method of testing. But with that comes the pros and the cons, and it is raising more questions from families about privacy concerns. <sighs> Finally. A deep breath, symbolic of police making good on a bold promise. Two years ago, I was standing up here guaranteeing we were going to make an arrest. Tuesday night, authorities arrested Daryl Bowden, the suspect they believe is responsible for the Ramsey Street rape cases that started in 2006. We're willing to try out anything and end everything. For investigators, everything includes genetic genealogy testing. The same exact testing that led to the April arrest of the Golden State Killer. Looked at open source records, uh, public family trees available online and they were able to triangulate and figure out a strong person of interest for us. Right now, the demand for DNA testing is higher than ever. In 2017, <laughs> officials say that people who had their DNA analyzed from home kits doubled. With major popularity comes major privacy concerns. It's just a click, click, click. And Dr. Catherine Drabiak authored a recent study and her research exposed concerns about how DNA information is not only stored, but sold. What might not be transparent are, number one, the financial motivations behind that, or also some of the privacy risks. Reports reveal DNA companies actually sell the data they collect to pharmaceutical companies. It's like a gold mine. 23andMe sold its database to at least 13 pharmaceutical companies, each deal worth millions. Ancestry DNA's fine print claims a perpetual worldwide transferable license to use your DNA. Once you open Pandora's box, um, it can go off in multiple ways. So something else that Dr. Drabiak suggests for people who are thinking about using those genetic genealogy tests, go ahead and read the fine print before you actually purchase anything that may save you some time in the long run. Reporting live, Xavier Walton, NBC Charlotte.